In this presentation, we will add a payroll item into QuickBooks, a payroll item related to a 401k or retirement benefit. This will add a level of complexity that we will then use as we process payroll into our payroll problem within QuickBooks. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in the home page. We currently have the open windows open. To open the open windows, go to the view drop down and select the open windows list. We are currently in the paid version. If you're in the manual version, you may want to go through and enter these types of items by going through the interview process again, meaning go into the employees tab and then go into the payroll setup and go into that interview process because it'll give you more of a, qu a questionnaire kind of format, which you may not get in the, in the manual enter version if you go straight to lists as we'll do here and the paid version we're going to go here to the lists drop down and we're going to go to the payroll item list the payroll item list these are going to be the things that kind of drive the payroll processing and what we're going to do is we're going to add one related to the 401k plan the retirement plan add a level level of complexity to our payroll as we process the next payroll so we're going to go to the payroll items drop up down down here and we're going to add new so we're going to say there's going to be a new payroll item and we'll go through this interview process now we're going to use the easy setup i don't really want to do the custom setup uh, we're going to do the easy setup so quickbooks will help us which is nice we have the these options we're going to set up a retirement or benefit plan or simple ira and say next we have different retirement plan options. We're going to choose the 401k. I'm not going to go through the different uh, types of plans now, but those are worth researching. We're going to say next. The vendor, we're just going to have a mock vendor for 401k. This is who we would uh, pay. So we would collect the 401k money and then give it to you know, basically the vendor in order to set up our 401k for the investments that we would have. I'm not going to set up uh, any regular payment schedule. We're going to keep it as is and say next. And that's it. We'll say finished. And there we have it. It should set up that 401k. I'm going to maximize this items list again. And if we go through here, we'll see that now we have the 401k match and the 401k employee. So an employee and employer portion. We're going to now go to the employee and set up the 401k for the employee. We're just going to set up the employee portion at this time. To do that, we're going to go back up to the Employee Center, Employees Dropdown, Employee Center. We're going to go to our one employee, which was Anthony. And we say, hey, Anthony, we set up a 401k for you. And he says, great. So we're going to go in there and enter some information for Anthony's change. We're going to go into the employee information down, actually payroll information, I should say. We're going to go into payroll information. And we're going to add the additions on the right side, additions, deductions, and company contributions. These are where these types of items will go, as opposed to the earnings items, uh, which will basically be hourly, overtime, and whatnot. So we're going to go over here to the items, and we are going to add a 401k, and we want to add the employee, not the match, but the 401k employee. That's what we're, where we will start. And we're going to enter the amount of 203. So 203 is going to come out of the paycheck monthly. That's going to be paid by the employee. No match for the employer at this time for the 401k. We're going to say OK. And that data has been saved. Next time we run the process, the payroll, we'll see that difference and see what that change will look like in comparison to the prior payroll without the 401k. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.